guess it was a great story to tell, uh, to tell. Last year, he starred in a small independent movie called Napoleon Dynamite, made on a shoestring budget of $200,000. It's grossed more than $40 million so far. Just came out on DVD. Here it is right here. Please welcome John Heater. <laughs> Now, I'm told you and I met before. I'm sorry, I don't remember meeting you. I remember. I know, no way. I'm usually pretty good at this. Where... Well, we didn't really meet. It was oh. about, it was back in 2000. All right. And uh, my brothers and I were on a trip to Los uh, Angeles. And all along the way, we stopped by an In-N-Out in Vegas. An In-N-Out burger. Yeah, yeah. And you were, <laughs> we were there. And you came in and we're like, oh, my gosh, it's... Jay Leno, and I was like, well, I gotta go at least make my presence known somehow. So I walked up to you, you're ordering your burger, and I was like, excuse me, and I grabbed the ketchup, and you're like, what? I was like, I'm sweet, you see that? Oh, yeah, I remember now. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah I don't eat in the hotels, I go to In and Out. This yeah. is my Hey, everybody loves you there. No, I gotta ask you something. You don't look anything like the guy in the wall. Show this, we have another shot. There we go. There we go. You don't look anything like that guy. It, 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 explain this here. Well, when we, uh, you know, we made it, uh, I had a, number one, that's a perm. Yeah. Uh, this is my real hair. Oh, this is your real hair. Okay. This is my, this is, yeah, how yeah. it goes. Okay. It's still messy. So but, that was a perm. Yeah, that was a perm, and then they gave me some glasses and the moon boots, and, uh, <laughs> and those are my real teeth. I've been questioned before yeah. about how'd you do the buck teeth. Um, <laughs> Isn't that awful, people? Yeah, hey, how'd you I get hate, those goofy teeth? I hate oh. people. Oh. Um, <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, yeah, that's that's how we did it. Now, did you go through a number of hairstyles before you chose that one? Or was, it, was no. that like you knew the look right away? No, no, the director's wife was like, we got to give this guy a okay. to make him butt ugly. So, okay. yeah. Um, yeah, we got it. And, uh, you know, we washed it, I think, in the during of the... The duration of the right. film, we watched it twice. Now, explain so. what the film is to people, because it, it, it's such a gentle, funny film, and it, it crosses all sort of age levels and groups. It, ex explain a little bit. Um, it's I, you can kind of say it's a high school comedy movie, but it's right. not your typical. It's very independent. It's uh, it's about this dorky guy yeah. who uh, makes friends with the new kid at school named uh, named Pedro, and it's just about just the weird people in his life and in his family and his friends at high school and how he's just trying to survive, you know, high school life. And he's a total dork and he just has no idea how How did you get this job? Were you an actor before this? Were you cast? How did, how did this happen? Um, I was friends with the director. Okay, friends with the yeah. director. Yeah, I was, uh, we but were... But the director wasn't anybody famous, right? He no, was just no. another guy. We were uh, college uh, classmates. Okay. And okay. Uh, he's like, John, uh, you know, I've seen you play dorky before. You know, I, I did a, I took one <laughs> acting class and, uh, <laughs> So he's like, hey, you know, let's try this out. Okay, all right, so that's cool. Now, the, mil the film made $40 million. So how, how much did you make off of that? Can I ask you that? Well, I'm, I was paid $1,000 to make. Ooh, me. good negotiator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was just like, ah, I better get my deal. It was only a, a month's work. Yeah, you know, well, work, so you're a so. college kid, that's great. Yeah, yeah, I was just like, But did you have any idea? I mean, you're shooting place. this, and you and your buddy, and it's low budget. I mean, did you have any idea that it was going to turn into this sort of phenomenon? I just think, well, it's a nice little movie. We had no idea. Yeah. We were just, we, we hoped that it would do well, and we were like, you know, if people latch onto this the same way the crew did. I mean, when we made the movie, we were quoting lines before we had shot right, the right. scenes. Oh, and cool. so everybody song. loved the yeah. script. And so, we, so you moved to L.A. When did you move to L.A.? I moved at the beginning of the summer. Okay. And how'd that go? Okay. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, I... I I actually, before my wife moved down, I was living uh, with the producer slash editor of the film on an air mattress in his apartment up until, you know, a couple months ago. So okay. it uh -huh. was, I actually really grew, grew attached to that mattress. <laughs> really? All right. It was comfort. Now, now, we have a clip. This is you and, and your brother, uh, Kip. Kip. Kip, all right. You know, this is just, again, it's just odd. Does this need any setup of any kind? This is uh, just... He's my brother. Uh, <laughs> right. And uh, this is what brothers do. All right, let's take a look. Stay home and eat all the freaking chips, Kip. Napoleon, oh, don't be jealous that I've been chatting online with babes all day. Besides, we both know I'm training to become a cage fighter. Since when, Kip? You have the worst reflexes of all time. Try and hit me, Napoleon. What? I said come down here and see what happens if you try and hit me. 
such an idiot. Let's see what your best move is. I'll go get it. High school? Were you were you like this? I, I wasn't. I didn't look like him. But <laughs> yeah, that's you. How can you not look like him? Oh shut <laughs> up. Um, no, I mean, I was kind of in between. I definitely wasn't the popular hot guy, jock type of guy at right. school, and I, I don't think I was a total clueless dork. I have a twin brother, and okay. so everybody just like, okay, they're in their own world. They do what they do, and let's leave them alone. Okay. So, I don't know, I was kind of in between. So what's next for you now? What, what, what's the next thing Um, happen? I'm looking for another great project, I guess, to do. Oh, I, mean, okay. uh, I just finished um, doing a voice for an animation for Sony, okay. and my twin brother actually is going to do something. Anim he just got hired to do the animation on it. Cool, so, cool. Well, okay. good luck. Will you come back and see us again? Yeah. Well, congratulations on all your success. John Hita, we're right back with the Sante right after this.